Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to attach text to a moving object in HitFilm Pro. And once you know how to do this, you can also attach other effects. To get started, I'm in HitFilm Pro 13. And we'll just go to File, New, and we're going to create a new project. And this one is, it says five minutes here. If you want to change the time on that, I can just enter new uh, values here. I only want this to be 10 seconds, so... I'll just put in 10 seconds and then I want this to be NTSC or 30 frames per second. So then I just go, okay, like that. We're in video editor right now and we really want to be in the compositor. So to create a compositing shot, we just come down here to new and we click composite shot. And again, we're presented with a similar setup. This one is by default at 30 seconds. I can just click and drag and bring that down to about 10 seconds, something like that okay and then we just go okay and now we've got our 10 second timeline so this is all pretty straightforward now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in my media that I'm going to get the motion motion track so this is just a flower blowing in the wind so we're gonna go okay and there that is so once the media is brought in all I got to do is click left click and drag and bring it on to the timeline over here like that and if I want I can rename it I can just call it clip just so I don't get confused on what's what hit enter and now I want to do motion tracking on this so what I got to do is I've got to expand this I click this little triangle there and I'm going to come in here to where it says tracks and I click this plus sign and now it brings in the tracking tool and you'll notice when I did that it switched from the viewer to the layer and this allows me to see the tracking tool we're going to keep this on single point which is basically just the x and y positions and this is our tracker right here so what we do is we click and we can drag this whole thing I can scroll in a little bit more and just click and bring this whole I like to keep this just in the center anyway well, that's not mandatory but the green box is the search area so we make that like about like that and the red box you got to click on the red corners is what you're wanting to track so we're wanting to track flower so we kind of tighten it around here like that and we don't want the search area too big but we don't want it too small either so that looks about right to me and then once we're ready to start tracking it couldn't be easier you just click this but track forward button here and it's only 10 second clip and it tracks pretty pretty fast. It gathers this tracking data and it's basically getting the X and Y coordinates and putting that all down. You're not really seeing it on the, the screen other than these blue dots. It's kind of the path of the track. But what we're going to do now is you can't attach text directly to the motion data. So you've got to create a null object or a point and then attach that to the motion data and then attach the text to the null object or the point. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to come here to new layer new layer and we're going to go to point and essentially this is a null object and that just is a reference point so you don't see it really so i'm just going to actually call this null object because that's what i'm most familiar with that terminology and hit enter now you notice now i don't see anything so if i click back here on the viewer i can see everything again now you'll notice also we're off the tracker so even if i click on the clip i still don't have the tracker up so you've actually got to come down here to the tracker you click on that and we're going to go to apply to layer we keep it on transform and here we're just going to click the null object and make sure to click apply and now the motion tracking data has been attached to the null object now all we've got to do is create our text and attach it to the null object and we should be done so to do that we're going to come in here to new layer we're going to go to text and this is kind of tricky you want to make sure that this icon is lit up, this text icon, but you don't want to click on the screen. You just want to start typing because if you click on the screen, you can actually create another text layer and you don't want to do that. So once you've got this selected and that's highlighted, you can just start typing and we're just going to go flower. So now if we want to make changes to this font in terms of its size and the type and all that, we just highlight it like that, left click and drag real gently. And if you come over here on the control section, if you you go through the controls there's one called text now a text tab and you just click on that and here you can change your font i'll change it to impact and then if i want to increase the size i can do that and then if i want to change the color i can actually click on this and come over and make it the exact same color as the flower just like that and then all we have to do now is attach this text to our null object so we come over here and we go to null object and if everything went right if i hit play the flower is now tracking to the flower pretty tightly i think that's a, that's a nice nice track actually so if i want to move this if i want to move this to another position i can come over here 
make sure I'm on the text and I can click and drag make sure I'm on the text layer and make sure the selection tool is selected and I can click on this arrow and reposition this to wherever I want it like right there let's see now if I hit play again it's tracking very nicely okay and then when I'm ready to render this out you just come up to file actually what I can do is I can come to export contents and go to export and then it comes up here click here you pick how the format that you want to render out in if you're doing something pretty high quality effect you probably want to do a PNG sequence but then you just click export contents and then it renders out and save your path and you just go start exporting and then it renders out pretty quickly and that's all there is to it that's all there is if you're interested in, in using HitFilm Pro to attach text or other effects to a moving object so I hope you found this helpful thanks so much for watching I really appreciate it so take care and have a great day